Now, in this video, we will see center of gravity for some commonly used solids. And these center of gravity formula we have to remember for the common solids. Let us start with this. Here we have the CG of some solids. The first one is the cylinder. Here we have a cylinder whose radius is capital R and height of the cylinder is H. It is placed on an axis system X and Y. For this cylinder, volume would be given by pi r square h. And as we know that we are dealing with center of gravity, we have to consider the volume, not area. Y bar will be the location of Cg with respect to x axis and given by h by 2. So it means that the Cg for this cylinder, it would be exactly at half of h. So this distance will be h by 2. So here is the center of gravity for a cylinder. Next, let us see the location of center of gravity for a cone. For cone, the volume is 1 upon 3 pi r square h. Y bar is the location of Cg from x axis and that location is from h by 4 distance from the x-axis or we can say from the bottom so here I have a cone whose radius will be capital R that would be the radius of the cone and volume was 1 by 3 pi r square h like for cylinder it was just pi r square h and for cone the volume is 1 by 3 pi r square h y bar is the location of Cg that is center of gravity it is h by 4 distance from the base then we have sphere the sphere is having a radius of capital r again it is placed on an axis system x and y this sphere is having a volume of 4 upon 3 pi r cube for this the cg is located at a distance of y bar we can say with respect to x axis and this y bar is nothing but the radius of the sphere so this was the location of cg for a sphere and at last we have Cg for a hemisphere. Hemisphere here we are considering it is the half of the sphere we can say having radius r. Its volume is 2 by 3 pi r cube. Y bar is the location of Cg for this hemisphere from the bottom or we can say from x axis and this y bar value is 3 r by 8. So here is the location of Cg for a hemisphere. So in short in this video we have seen the location of CG for some common solids. Based on that, we would be solving some problems.